Hey there, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. Today, I'm checking out this three-person tent from Camp Pros. Um, I have a couple of kids, so this is actually perfect for me to throw up. I do have a rooftop tent that I normally sleep in, but when we bring the kids and the wife, there's just not enough room for all of us in our rooftop tent. So this is the tent that we're gonna use for the kids. So again, I'm gonna walk you through this, show you all the features and uh, benefits, and give you my thoughts on it. So let's get into it. All right, so initial thoughts. I do wanna say, I love how small it is, right? So it's a three person tent, but most of the tents that I bought are generally about twice as long as this. This thing is, I will put the dimensions on the screen here, how long this is, how wide it is, and how tall it is. But this thing is really, really small. The other thing that I just initially, before I even open the bag that I like, is that it's loose, okay? So you remember, if you have camped before, you've had tents. You open it up, it never goes back in the bag. It never fits back in the bag ever, right? Now, I will test this at the end, and I will let you know if it actually works, but I like that they've clearly left some additional space in here, right? Because once you unpack it, it's not gonna fold down as small as this is, but I love that they didn't just jam it into the bag, which you initially just immediately know it's never going back in. With this, you feel like you've got some extra room. I'm pretty confident that I can get it back into the bag, which is a huge benefit. So let's unzip it and see what's inside. So some pretty standard fare in here, these cheap ties, right? Probably disappear after the first use and never be used again or found again. Let's roll it out. All right guys, so you can kind of see the footprint of the tent. I'm gonna put the dimensions for it up on the screen. It is a square style tent, so it's kind of nice that it's equidistant all the way across, but plenty of room for three people for sure. It also comes with a rain fly, which I'm not gonna use tonight because it's supposed to be pretty nice all of the poles that are gonna hold the thing up. And then it also comes with what appears to be, and I will confirm this in a second, but a net for hanging on the inside of the tent to like suspend things up above you. Uh, gear and stuff like that, if you need to dry stuff, you could hang it from this. Um, and these are also the stakes. All right, so again, typical standard camping tent poles. So they held together by elastic. So we're gonna try and put this together now. All right guys, so we got it all set up. Actually a piece of cake, really easy. Two poles, one through each set of tubes, right? Going like an X across the top. Tie a quick little knot in that string on the top just to keep the top of the tent held up. And then hook the hooks all the way around, one on each corner, so four of them total. One thing that I do really like about this is that it has a screen window in the door. In the smaller bag, that plastic bag that I showed you earlier does come some stakes, a bunch of stakes in a small bag. And then this sort of net that goes on the inside. So you could hang this from the corners in the top of the tent up there to throw your valuables up there, like throw your keys, throw your wallet, anything you want to kind of keep up off the ground or keep away so you don't like roll over and set your car alarm off in the middle of the night. You could throw stuff up on that net in this, which is pretty nice. Another thing that I like is that you can see it over here. It does have a little pocket, sort of like a waterproof hole uh, with a cover on it where you could run electrical through. So again, if you're less of a dispersed camper and more of like a state park camper and you have an electric site, you could run an extension cord in there, run whatever you need to. So kind of nice that they include that electrical plug hole in the tent. All right guys, so as you can see, we're inside of the tent right now. I do like that the screen goes like pretty much all the way around. So it is really nice, like the view is really nice. And then the screen window in the door is really nice too. Um, it does also have a couple of pouches, so it's got one over there, which my kid slept over there. And then I slept over here, and there's another pouch. And it does have, of course, the sort of the standard type of like a ring, which I hung a light from and a little fan from last night. But, I mean, you can see it's pretty good size. I mean, there's definitely, you know, if we, if we all fit just perfect, we could definitely put three people in here. I think I'll probably only ever have two, but... You know, for a fairly standard sort of type of tent, it's just fine, right? It's perfectly nice, and for the money, it, it seems like good quality and a pretty good deal. So, pretty nice. So, my nine-year-old and I spent the night in the Camp Pros tent last night. Worked great. 
Um, again, really happy with the features of it as far as like the so much screen space. It was about probably got down in the 50s, 60s last night, and it was beautiful in here. I mean, you can just see out everywhere. This is more of a summer tent, clearly, with all the, the uh, screens and stuff on it. But that's about the only time I use the tent anyways. My kids don't go in the winter with me. So, uh, so yeah, if you're looking for like a spring, summer type of tent for a reasonable amount of money that's good size and seems to be good quality, I think this is a great option. So, uh, yeah, overall, really impressed with the tent. And I think it'll be perfect for the kids. So uh, I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you're looking for a tent, hopefully this is, you know, some good information. I hadn't heard of the brand, but I'm now that I've seen it, I'm impressed with it. I'm home now, but I did just want to show that the tent actually did go back in the bag pretty easily too. Um, you do have to kind of watch your length. I actually, when I rolled it up all the way, I folded it over twice and then rolled it long ways. And it's a little bit long, so you can kind of see it's poking here. I had to kind of push it in to make it fit, but the bag's still not like super tight. So anyways, just wanted to show you guys that it does actually go back in the bag, which is pretty good. And the bag is so small, right? Like, so to show you, I'm in my garage. That's the bag for this tent. That's the old tent that we used to use. I think that one's technically a four person tent, but it's one of those instant up tents, but that thing is, you know, what? two, three times longer and probably about the same width as this tent. So, you know, you can carry this thing in a backpack or you could throw it in the corner of your trunk and take up almost no room or you got to put that in the bed of a truck or in the back of an SUV or take up your whole trunk, right? So, folds up pretty small, went back in the bag. Just wanted to update you. I'll put a link to this tent down in the description below. So if you want to, you know, check one out that you've actually seen a little bit of video on and kind of have an understanding of what it's like, then uh, you can definitely click through that if you want to pick one up. Um, also in the description down below are links to Facebook, Instagram. I've got a Patreon page with a Discord where we all chat 24-7. Um, there's also a Newbie Overlanders Facebook group. Totally free to join. Really, really awesome uh, people on there. It's not going to beat you up like a lot of the bigger groups. So if you're looking for a group where you can ask questions and, and not get screamed at, over and over again. It's a good place to, to hang out. Also in the description is a link to my podcast. If you like listening to podcasts about overlanding and stuff, I talk about all kinds of general topics and stuff like that. So check that out. Um, but again, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button, click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I do do a couple of videos per week usually, and I do a podcast every week. So anywhere you want to hang out and, and subscribe, I'd love to have you. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.